I loved it. I've never seen anything like it. Take three swings. I had, it recommended this shaft. I hit a whole bunch of different ones over there and I've never hit it better. I mean, I thought I knew it all about my swing. It just, I never knew what shaft to hit. What we found is that a very, very large percentage of golfers are using the wrong shaft. Either the shaft's too heavy for them or too stiff or vice versa, too light, uh, too weak. And basically, they're, they're, they're not going to be able to optimize their swing. They're going to lose squareness of hit and they're going to lose distance. You know, lots of players swing at the same head speed, kind of the same tempo, but at the same time, they load it very differently. Some players hold on, some players release early. Those people need really different shafts for their swing, even though on the surface it would appear they need the same thing. Historically speaking, in order to come up with a correct shaft for somebody's unique swing characteristics, it was just trial and error, it was brute force fitting. It's not very efficient because you're all over the place and the golfer gets tired. So they start to lose their ability to hit balls with a repeatable swing. They start to lose their natural motion. So what we wanted to do was try to narrow that down and shorten the focus of wh where do I begin on a fitting. This is a new Mizuno shaft optimizer. It's a golf club that you actually hit. Uh, it's built to six iron specifications. Uh, it has, the, in, inside the electronics package here, is a computer that has two strain gauges and an accelerometer and it, what it does is it measures what the shaft's doing, uh, loading and unloading throughout the swing and uh, measures basically the golfer's swing DNA uh, through measurement of five parameters throughout the swing. The first two parameters that we look at are the club head speed and the tempo. Those two things will really dial a player in in terms of the proper flex and the proper weight for a shaft. A player with a quick tempo will tend to benefit from a heavier weight shaft. It'll lead to more solid and consistent contact. Where a player who swings softer with a slower tempo will benefit from a lighter weight shaft. They can gain head speed and at the same time they'll time it better. When we break it down even further we look at the toe down, the kick angle, and the release factor. The toe down is literally the measure of how much the toe of the club bows the shaft down coming into impact. The kick angle is how much the head kicks forward at impact and the release factor is when the player, whether it's early or late, releases the club into impact. So by looking at those things we can really dial in a bending profile that best fits. The software will recommend uh, two or three shafts for the golfer to uh, go through a confirmation stage and determine what is the best shaft. We have different head weights depending on the length you have. We have so many shaft options. You know, we, we have always been known as an iron company and we have loads of iron shafts, all different plexes, all different weights, all different EI profiles. And you can put those together and dial in so many different combinations and find the perfect one for you. Three swings, um, instant feedback. Uh, like they said, it's, uh, it's accurate whether you hit it, strike it great or whether you miss it a bit. Uh, it's reading the shaft and it, it, it really is a swing DNA. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, I got three identical readings, pretty much three swings in a row, and uh, it was pretty cool. Although we've got every shaft in the world to try, and we try a bunch of different things, I thought it was pretty interesting that uh, I got on it, took a bunch of swings, got my speeds and everything exactly the same as a track man, and actually came up with exactly the same shaft I was already playing. So it's the same kind of answer I came up with trying a bunch of different shafts for a long period of time. I was at KBS Tour about 45 minutes ago before I came here. And engineers watched my swing, and, and they 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 elected to say that I should be using the uh, the X with a soft step, and it's exactly what your optimizer showed. One of the things Mizuno really focused on in making this interchangeable system was that we wanted to keep the same feel and performance that our clubs are known for. So what we did is we used the exact same production heads and all we did was modify the bore of the head. We took weight out in the exact same place we're putting it back in so the performance and the feel is going to be exactly as one would be that you buy off the shelf. Traditionally this level of fitting technology you'd have to you'd have to travel to a special location maybe there would be just a few of them uh, set up across the, across the country, but this comes with every one of our fitting systems. We currently have hundreds of locations across the U United States and Europe, and by the end of 2010 we'll have close to 2,000 locations. They told me uh, Project X 6.5s or X 100s were my number one, and uh, I really like the way the X 100s are coming off. Just a lot more more accurate, you know, I'm hitting a little fade now with my other ones, there's an inconsistent hook with a, uh, you know, paired with the fade. So now I've pretty much eliminated the left side of the, the uh, golf course. The recommendation was that uh, I use the rifle 6.0, which is my current shaft, um, and then the one that will lower the ball flight more was the Dynamic Gold S100. 
and that'll that'll help me tremendously in my game, I think. GS 95 Gold Series. And I would have never thought that at all because all the girls on tour right now are playing the rifle shafts and that's what I thought I needed. And this is what it, it told me to hit. I could actually feel the compression of the ball for the first time ever. I was pretty happy with it. I know my games are well enough to to, to have a sense of, of what I may or may not need, it was, but I've never actually seen something that, that, could, uh, that could confirm it. I had had an idea in my mind what I wanted, and oddly the three that I was, that was in my mind came up on the screen. We've got one coming for the club, we're going to do real well with it. it was, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's foolproof.